So I just wanted to do a kind of screen recording, screen grab, and then going over how I do certain things to my drawings. Um, you know, it's not something I've done before. Potentially, it might be something that I start doing more of for my YouTube channel, because I do draw a lot and I've got a lot to say. And there's a lot to talk about in terms of drawing, you know, mechanic. And to be fair, talk about anything, you know. Like followers on Instagram and people that I've gotten to know and friends that I've made in the kind of Titanic community, the art community, it's it is nice to just kind of chat and, and being able to do that while doing something, you know, as simple and wholesome and you know something I do anyway, like drawing. Um, I think I don't know seems kind of like a good match. So, but um, I posted. This drawing in particular on Reddit, and there were a lot of people being like, you can't possibly do you no know, gradients on MS Paint. And you know, people just kind of like, you know, they liked the drawing, but they didn't have an issue with the drawing, but they just didn't believe that it was done on Microsoft Paint. So I just wanted to do this screen recording to show that you can do things in Microsoft Paint. The Microsoft Paint is more capable than people give credit for. And just kind of talking over something as simple as gradients and how to go about doing it. Um, and just some little kind of hacks and tips and tricks. So I think potentially anyone could if they spent, you know, time or patience or the desire to draw a ship that sank over 100 years ago. But um, it's never so much my drawings. It's certain aspects of my drawings that people are like, you know, you didn't do that in MS Paint, or that's impossible in MS Paint, which is just silly. Um, so, and the things I'm talking about, or rather, the things that they're talking about, stuff like that, like a gradient. Now that I've zoomed in, you can just see the gradient, it's just lines that are different colours. And the way that you get those different colours is by, you know, you can, <clears throat> you can see the lines there. So, you know, it's laborious and it's not difficult, but it's more time consuming than if you use like Photoshop or, I don't even know, I don't know. But, draw a line, you come back into this, you move the slider down, you go back out, you draw your line, Move back into this, pull your slider down. It's not hard. So, um, yeah. And I mean, things like shadow, like, seeing where it kind of lines up, you know, you might get a color that's going to stand out against everything else. So, you know, that's a good one. Or even like a color that's not on the drawing, it's like red. Um, so try and imagine like where the sun's coming from, that kind of thing. Um, I've got this little thing. So yeah, like I didn't need to put that shadow there. Like I could potentially take that away, but because I've got that shadow of life put there, I thought you know you've got the sun clearly on one side of of the ship because. You know, this is all in light on all this side, and the front is in shadow. So, you know, I kind of just wanted to add that little detail. Um, I thought it might look a bit too, I couldn't say too, too dimensional, which is a weird phrase to say. Um, but, yeah, like, so again, nothing is impossible. You can do a lot in Microsoft Paint. Right now, um, what I'm doing is, so I've drawn the davits, the ropes will be, they're usually always the last thing I draw, so, um, so like your stay cables, they'll be the last thing I draw, probably. Or the second last thing, actually, because the lifeboat kind of falls 
the ropes will potentially overlap with them. We'll see. But, um, so yeah, like your stay cables and your lifeboat falls or ropes, whatever you want to call it, um, will be the last thing I draw. I know that's going through the lifeboat, and that wouldn't happen. Um, yeah, right now what I'm doing is I am basically just giving the davits a bit of depth. Um, I've done that wrong. It's in my mind, I'm always trying to remember theoretically where the, the sun or where the light is coming from. So I wanted to do that. You know, none of my drawings are ever perfect. <clears throat> There's always going to be things, I mean, I'm looking at this right now and I can see things that are not perfect, that are annoying me. But I know that if I continue to do and undo things that are like, not, none of it's bad, you know. Not, there's none of it that's worth completely doing away with it and starting from scratch. But if you were to have that mindset, you would never finish anything. You know, anyone that creates art or does art um, or you know, anything that's a labour of love or time will know that if you are too critical, you will never finish anything, you'll never complete anything. So, um, yeah. But right now I am just giving a little bit of depth to the habits. Um, yeah. The main thing will be the funnels. But do you know what? Should we just do a funnel right now? I don't even know if this is colour I can honestly stick with. Um I suppose it's not bad. Okay, we'll do a funnel right now, just it, it gives people an idea. So in fact so if the sun's coming from I keep pointing at my screen, you can't see me. The sun's coming from this general direction, okay? <clears throat> We're going to want our lightest shade, probably lighter than that. Mm, go with that. Slightly lighter. Go with that. Let's see how that works. Okay. So, let's say that's our lightest shade. I will probably go kind of too far up, but I can tidy that up after I can fix that. Um, cause you'd rather go too far up and not have this happen. So you know, if you only do your lines like there and then you go to fill it, that's not what you want. So at least if you draw your line a bit too high up, it's going to stop the entire color bleeding. And you can tidy it up afterwards. So it makes your life a little bit easier in the long run. To make sure my lines match up, now paint didn't used to do this, but paint um, has gotten slightly less primitive, but it's still pretty basic. Um, obviously, it's paint. But to make sure my lines match up, when you draw a line nowadays, I mean, it's probably been like this for a while. But you can then move your line around and sometimes I will actually draw the line to correspond with a nearby line that I need. So that keeps everything kind of, you know, accurate I guess. And you can see when I've extended that downwards it moved. So all I need to do is, you know, did it move too much? No, it's okay. So I can put it back. And um, we'll say the sun's kind of heading about there. So this is going to be the brightest section of the funnel. And again, I might do this, look at it and go, that's 
horse shit. Start from scratch, but we'll just for now say that that's not going to happen. Move down a little. Now sometimes you can move down and colour like hardly changes, and there's no point in that. It's, you're just kind of wasting your time. So like, yeah, look at that. There's no difference. So did I even change it there? I think I did. Because your colours appear here, so you can see that's my light colour there. It says brown. I'd say it's peach, but whatever. Um. So yeah, I obviously didn't change it there. Yeah, so you can see that's my newest shade. Um, but mm, there's not much difference. If you zoom in, you can zoom in a little bit, but then you don't have the full funnel in frame. That makes your job a little bit hard. Because um, you can't draw a continuous line because you're having to do that. So, um, yeah, there's not much difference in those. So, do it again. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of difference. If I move it out, I can see that it's yeah, it's pretty accurate. That's fine. And another good thing, so that line is still highlighted. So you can move that around. I want it there. While it's highlighted, you can change the color. So, you know, see, um, you know, you can hover around. If I wanted to use that shade of quote unquote brown, I can click that. If I want to go back to the one that was on, I can actually go into here, move it down. It has changed. So that's quite handy. But I want to use that one. So, there we go. There we go. So you see, it's not impossible. It's, you know, people saying that my drawings weren't done in paint. It's, you know, you can. And the, but our drawings are way better than mine. Like, someone, I forget his name. Um, and, you know, there's probably multiple examples of this, but one I saw, he made like a whole comic book using MS Paint. So, um, I mean, I might do something like that. I might do a uh, kind of stop motion animation, like I had done in the past when I was really young. They're on YouTube. They're god awful, but I think I've got a couple of little. I've got some little gaps there. So normally I would do this last, but I'm just showing you now to show, you know, sometimes you spot a little discrepancy and you just kind of do it there and there. Where was I? Was that this colour? There we go. Oh, had I done that? No. And you know, as much as it's time consuming, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it takes a while, but... You know, I've been doing this for years, I quite enjoy it, I like it. Um, it's my kind of way of relaxing. I'm just going to fix that because I know that I went over it. Um, so. <sighs> I mean, in the lockdown last year, I was spending not even hours, like days doing this, because, you know, what else was there to do? There was nothing to do. But I enjoy this, you know. My partner, who I live with, he was saying, it's, it's great that I've got a hobby that's so time-consuming and so kind of immersive, because there's a lot of people that don't have that. Um, right, so what I'm going to do, I wouldn't say it's complicated, but it's something a little bit more so I'm going to move these things, okay, because they're in the way, and I just want the funnel. I don't really care about these things right now. So I'm going to copy and paste, and what that means is that I can draw over them, and that's fine, because I can then copy and paste that and drag this back over. It means that 
no, I'm not having to draw these from scratch again because they're there. So, um, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, while this is more time consuming than other forms of art or whatever, um, I enjoy it. I've been doing it for like 16, 17 years. Um, so it kind of just comes naturally to me. It doesn't I think as well because I've never used other forms of kind of drawing or whatever. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Um, you know, if you've never really done anything else or tried anything else, you don't know what you're missing, kind of thing. Um, to be fair, also last year because my partner didn't. I think know quite how good I was at drawing. Um, I mean, he'd seen drawings I'd done, but I think he was a bit like, yeah, maybe just wasn't fully aware because, you know, I'd never had that much free time to kind of spend drawing and all that. Um, he was like, for my birthday, he got me, I think it's called Affinity. And it's basically like MS Paint, but much, much better. You know, you can do a lot more and I wouldn't have to sit and do this. You know, I could... Right, pausing just now, because what I'm going to do, so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to change the colour of this funnel to something random. There we go. That'll do. Um, yeah, so he got me Affinity. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, I've still got it. Um... Maybe it's laziness on my part, I don't know. I mean, that's in itself sounds like a bit of like cognitive dissonance. You know, I'm lazy, but I'll also spend more time making my drawings. I think maybe there's like a resistance to ch for change, or like from like if something's not broke, why fix it? Um, cause I sat with Affinity for like a couple of weeks and on and off trying to kind of get my head around it and figure it out and I just couldn't and yeah that probably came down to laziness um mostly so I haven't used it since it's still on my laptop um but I just don't think it's for me I don't know there's nothing wrong with it at all um <clears throat> obviously but it just isn't for me now also You'll notice that I've not drawn the pipes or the ladder or the whistles on the funnel. That will be the very last thing I do because um, I want to do this first. I want to get the shading of the funnels done first, obviously, because if you did the pipes and the ladder and the whistles, that you know, you'd ruin them by then doing this. Um, Um, but yeah, I think this will actually look quite decent when it's finished. I don't tend to draw kind of daytime scenes of Titanic. I, I like the kind of contrast of the portholes and lights and the stars against like the really dark sky, dark water. But it also, I guess in this there's quite stark contrast you've got like very dark front with very bright side and um, obviously that contrast is less noticeable when you have the gradient like here it's very noticeable um, so you know there is still that kind of part that I like but yeah, I just don't tend to draw Titanic during the day or well pick Titanic during the day in my drawings I am currently my Titanic in the day, or during the day, because um, it's daytime, where I am. Who's that there? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, as you can see, it's quite easy to forget what color you're on. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to go slightly thinner just because I'm getting towards the end of this. I'll do one more and then that's it. There we go. So if I now zoom out, yeah, you can see the funnel is now 3D. So and this, so I want to turn number two, color number two, this color, back into this, make sure it's transparent, it is. Select, copy, get rid of it, and bring it back. Well, get rid of that one. There we go. That. No, it's slightly. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but. Don't like it. So, I don't know where these little dots are coming from. Yeah, and I like to challenge myself because I don't see the point in, you know, you can draw the same thing, you know, over and over. And that's fine. Um, I have done that a lot, but I think it's good to try and branch out a little bit and, you know, draw things that are more challenging. Um, you know, whether it's perspective, shading, or just doing something that's just a little bit outside your comfort zone. Because also when it comes to sitting down and drawing, you're a little bit more excited for that because you know, there's maybe a bit you've been putting off for a while, like you're drawing you know, everything else or colouring in everything else and saving that to last and it gets to the point where you can't ignore it anymore, you know, you can just do it or your picture's not going to be complete. Um, so... And there's nothing wrong with doing the same thing over and over again. Like I say, I've done it a lot. Now, the top, I could wing it, which I've done a lot. <clears throat> um, so I've turned the second colour, that colour, you know, the colour of the top of the funnel. And I'm just going to kind of freehand. So I don't use a pen or a stylus or even a mouse. I've got a trackpad. So literally just on my laptop with my right hand, um, you know, on my right finger, my index finger, I'm just kind of doing that. Um, so right now I'm using my left index finger to hold down the button on my trackpad, and I'm using my right index finger to just kind of drag this along and roughly, very rough, kind of follow where I think it is. That's not perfect, by any means. Um, you 
you know, try that again. Maybe if I try it zoomed out so I can actually see. Mm, slightly better, but not great. So that's okay, and then what I'll do now is I'll just tidy up a little bit. Basically, I just wanted to get like the bulk of the black, and then do the rest. And I think the key thing is as well, don't be afraid to mess things up and make mistakes. Um, that looks okay. Um, and with the rest of the funnels, I could, and probably will, but we'll see, but it'd be super easy to do this. Let's make sure that. Copy, paste, and squeeze it in a little bit. And get it to the size you want. Um, so if I was to leave that there, I can then just work from that. So click on it, zoom in, and it'd be like that. If that makes sense. Just go like color by color. Now with the funnels, as they get smaller, you know, with respect, as they get further away, it makes it slightly easier to do it this way, where you're kind of scrolling up and down. But I don't love it, so I won't do that. I am I'm not finished that one right now because. Yeah, you can see there kind of how I go about doing that um, and the kind of process. So, I don't actually know if I'm going to like that funnel, so I'm going to undo that just now. And I'll come back to it. But, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to do this like short video just showing you roughly kind of how I go about doing this. Um, and, you know, if this is something that's, again, it's just a short video that I wanted to do. Um, if it's something you'd be interested in seeing more of, you know, I can do live stream chats while I draw. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if there's specific things you'd like to see me draw. You, know, you want to see me draw something from scratch, you know, you want to see the full process, or would that be, you know, boring? Do you prefer just seeing little technical things here and there? So drop a comment, let me know, um, and yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.